Tapos, nung dumating na po yung typhoon, actually, natutulog kaming lahat nun. Nag-girling na kasi yung parang hangin. We are witnessing a human-made global climate emergency. Yung mga bata hindi na makita. Diba? Paano nagkukollapse yung mga bahay doon sa amin. Yung mga tao umiiyak. Yung mga tao parang walang mapuntahan. Marginalized girls across the world are among the most impacted despite contributing the least to climate change. Hindi ko po talaga maintindihan kung ano yung naramdaman ko nung nakita ko na wasak yung bahay namin. Hindi ko ma-imagine kung paano, kung paano kami nag-survive that time. The effects of climate change increase existing inequalities. Siyempre, ma mahirap sa part ko as a girl kasi kailangan ko ng privacy. Yung parang, oh, mga lalaki, ganito, dito kayo. Yung parang ganun, yung mga babae, dyan lang. Girls are on the front line of climate crisis. Climate change puts girls' education, safety, and health at risk. After Typhoon Haiyan, kasi nasira yung school namin. Yung mga libro namin nasira din. Doon ko lang talaga naisip na, Paano kaya kung, paano kung di na ako makapag-aral? Young people fear for their future and are demanding climate action on a global scale. More must be done so all girls can raise their voices. Girls are already leading on climate action. They need your support so they can influence the decisions that affect their rights, their future. My generation will live with the effects of climate change, so we must be included in finding solutions. It's time for us all to take action. Support girls' activism and help secure our future. <laughs>